Welcome to the third episode of VCT Pacific Breakdown. And today, I'm going to be presenting to you DRX versus Gen G. And uh, as you guys know, I'm part of DRX, as, it, as this jersey states my name here. Uh, I might be biased a little bit. But the reason why I am a content creator for DRX in the first place is because I love the playstyle of DRX. And I'm going to break down for you a immaculate retake that they did against Gen G last week. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about this retake before we're going to break it down. Because there's a lot of stuff happening, of course. But for the viewers, what was the most impactful was this. The jet double kill here was not only super flashy, but also pretty impactful. But that's what the viewers will focus on, because it's very flashy, right? The reality is, though, that's not the reason why this retake was so insane. And we're gonna explain it right now why this retake was insane. Now, when we watch the professional games, we need to realize something. The in-game leader of the team needs to recognize the win conditions and lose conditions for specific rounds. That's insane responsibility. Now, for this specific round, that one win condition and one lose condition. The win condition is the lockdown being placed on the short to make sure that you can get all the space on the A side. The lose condition is, well, this opponent Sova has the ultimate and will destroy your win condition. So now you have to find a solution to this problem because you know what is your win condition and you know how can you lose this round because it's gonna get counted. And DRX found that solution and it's actually unreal how effective this is. So by using the lockdown, you trigger the opponent Sova to use his ultimate to destroy the lockdown. So essentially what DRX does is they use the lockdown as a temporary frag on the opponent Sova because he's gonna be busy destroying the lockdown with his ultimate when this is being placed. So there's a massive change of pace that is gonna happen for DRX. So what I mean by that pace change is that DRX recognize that they need to start the retake while the lockdown is being placed. They cannot wait for the lockdown to activate because it's gonna get destroyed. So they use it for their own advantage. The fact that Sova will be ulting the lockdown is like essentially killing him for the duration of his ult, which allows you to attack on site and there's gonna be one less attacker on the site, which makes this retake a 5v4 instead of a 5v5, which is crucial. And as you can see, the lockdown was put down and the team is already exploding from heaven. There's the stun happening on site, which will stun the player underneath. And then an aftershock will follow while the jet will dash onto default after that stun. Very important to note is something else. The micro positioning of DRX on heaven. By saying micro positioning, I mean those two players standing in this small corner here. This is something that I've seen the Eric's use some time ago, like two years ago, and then was copied by other teams. Those two players are not affected by the breach stun, which allows them to initiate the retake. So the player under hell is getting stunned. Player potentially standing on default getting stunned. The player that is countering lockdown position is also getting stunned. But the two players that are next to window are not at stunned because of this small piece of floor that they can stand on and they can instantly jump out, which essentially saves them time because they don't have to stand in this position next to the breach so that they avoid order the stun in that position. So this is very efficient way of using space and also saves the crucial one second that you would have to otherwise to run up and the stun would fade. And this is what's happening in the round because when you pay attention to how it goes you will literally see how foxy enables himself to be fast on side with this before we play the round again to showcase that foxy very efficient movement based on those positions pay attention to also something that is happening on the other side the ct mako over here is gonna not only support the players by using a smoke on short which essentially isolates the angles on site, but also the paranoia that goes through this angle affects graffiti and affects default, which means that with the combination of stun and the paranoia at the same time allows Foxy to have full confidence to go onto site because he knows that all of those angles here are going to be either stunned 
all blinded. So there's no good place to stand against his potential dash onto site, while the player under hell is gonna get affected by aftershock. And fortunate for DRX, the Omen TS had only 3 HP, so one aftershock explosion kills him. And when you're stunned, you will get tagged once typically. So essentially he's dead. But let's play this round again and pay attention to what is happening with Foxy and how he gets those kills, because you're gonna realize that they're both affected by the paranoia from Omen. They're both blinded and easy kills for Foxy. Now also worth mentioning is this smoke on the left side of Long because this smoke was being placed there before Foxy dashed on site. The reason for that smoke is because Omen had to be busy with using their paranoia on site so the jet had to supplement the smoke on Long for those 4 seconds crucial ones but that's long enough for them to actually do the execute and now that allows them also to use the second Omen smoke that Marco still has for a very important position. And you would think, well, they should probably just smoke the same position as the jet smoked. And that is wrong. DRX uses the smoke on the spike. And look how important that is, because what happens here is when the smoke is being used on the spike, it allows the other players to fight the players on long. And that's something you will probably never see in ranked. And you will not even see a lot of times in professional play. When you have an advantage in a post-split position, you want to smoke off the spike because that enables the other players in your team to take the gunfights to the players that are busy spraying the smoke that is hiding the spike while it's being diffused. DRX got three kills and started defusing the spike within the first seven seconds since the start of the retake. This inspiring utility usage is just the way that I imagine Varen should be played at the highest level and it's so awesome to see it in the actual game where coordination and just pristine teamwork shines through. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown and we're gonna see each other next time with the VCT Pacific Breakdown.